Okay, let's set up a custom room. I've installed Superior OS on my device just for example. I just wanted to let you know if I install a custom room on my device, which other things I do after installing the custom room for the first time, the settings I use, the features I use, the settings I use actually do a lot more things I actually do after installing this one. So let's just have a quick look at some of the things here. By the way, for just for your kind of information, I'm using Superior OS custom room, one of the custom rooms which is based on AOSP and quite smooth. It's having two kind of versions for users like vanilla. For the users who love to use vanilla versions, this custom room is available as vanilla and also the Google Apps version is available too. The settings I'm doing right now is just according to my personal opinion, my preferences. If you are not satisfied with one of these options, you can simply skip that. These are the options I set up after using this thing and one of my favorite feature, of course, one of my favorite feature in a custom room is a default launcher. If it is not pixel launcher if it is based on launcher 3 like this one then this is so amazing we can do a lot more things in this default launcher so this is what i did secondly if i move on to the quick settings panel one thing which i do is separate wi-fi and mobile data tiles if these are available i simply use them and simply disable the internet tile like this is what i do because this is so useful i use wi-fi and mobile data both so i need that also if we move on to the settings option network and internet and then i move on to the private dns option dns.adguard.com what this is this is basically an ad blocker without installing any android app and without using any vpn without using root and anything else this is one of the best that's why i use this thing also this is super easy to customize and to configure if i move on to the display options you will face you will see i have the tap to check phone which is basically double tap to check phone etc and for the lift to check phone both of the options i don't use to be very honest i don't use it of course it depends upon your preference but i don't use that i don't personally like that if I move on to the wallpapers and style option, I move on to the shortcuts option and customize the lock screen shortcuts. And left side, I have torch. Right side, I have camera because these are so useful. Themed icons is kind of optional. Sometimes I use, sometimes I don't. Also enable notification history because this is so useful if you are using an Android device. If you're using an Android device, this is actually so useful. And sound and vibration, screen locking sound is what I have to enable. Always use that and we also have in vibration and haptics. Touch feedback is actually optional. It depends upon which device you use. If your device has great vibration intensity, you can simply use that. If your device does not have great vibration intensity, simply skip it. We also have some options in lock screen, sorry, in security section that you have the option for enhanced pin privacy. I enable this option if I am talk about, if I'm talking about Android 13 based custom rooms or maybe Android 14 based too. And of course, fingerprint if it is available. Network traffic indicator is one of the features which you definitely have to check it out i enable this option headset icon in the status bar icons i enable we also have some battery styles where i use the option enabled as labeled as next to the icon in brightness percentage data disabled icon of course we have to disable this thing this is one of the features which is unfortunately not available in pixel experience custom room data usage is one of the features i use other things literally same in button section you will find playback control option this is absolutely useful i have to enable this thing i always use this thing if one feature named as ime space available there in the gesture navigation then i always use that but unfortunately in superior OS, that feature is not present so i'll skip that three finger gesture of course you need that in every custom room every device that should be included it's there you also have some locks and customizations in which fingerprint authentication options and if your device has under display fingerprint sensor then you have some customizations enabled in your device in my case in my pixel 7a we have under display fingerprint icons so if i use custom rooms in my pixel 7a sometimes i use the last this one this is the one i use because this looks good also we have some custom animations but these are actually optional i sometimes use them sometimes i don't sometimes i use this or that etc so that is not actually what i just wanted to let you know you can simply skip this thing it's totally up to you including that power menu has the advanced restart option which you have to enable and the disable power menu option in secure lock screen 
other than else there are some customizations like in fonts fonts which i use most of the times i change but if i use mostly is linot fonts i also made a video on these magisk module fonts so you can go and check it out we also have some signal icons customizations in this custom so if a custom exists these kind of options i use ios style or i use sneaky wavy two or three types of options are available which i use so these are optional we also have some wi-fi icon styles available in this case um stroke wavy sneaky these two or three are so useful so i use them looking quite beautiful by the way in notification section if retake notifications are present it's good if not then make heads up less annoying features should be there it's there ignore window secure flag is also present unlimited photo storage everything what you need is already present so these were things i just want to let you know hope you like this thanks and i will see you in the next one until then goodbye